Hey guys, it's Yoda Joe 93 and I just got done watching Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And so, here's the thing guys, um, my phone's charging right now, so I can't give you guys the full, like, turned camera angle. We're just doing the regular angle, like a phone today. But just know that that doesn't mean that the quality of my review will be any less awesome than what I'm going to tell you guys. So, as I said, I just got done with Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse for the first time. And, and before we get into the full review, this will be a non-spoiler review. Um, the only reason you should not watch this review is if you don't want to hear about plot points that involve the trailer. So if you've never seen any trailers and you're trying to go in completely blind, don't watch this review. But if you just want to know my thoughts on the movie... This will be a no-spoiler review. It will be straight-up non-spoiler, and I'm here to give it to you guys. So, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is the iconic sequel to the beloved comic book film Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Both films feature Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen, played by Haley Stein, voiced by Haley Steinfeld. So, these films are incredible, and... But I already thought Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was an incredible achievement for Sony Pictures to do. They brought in all these great characters. We had Prowler. We had Kingpin. It was great. But this new one is No Way Home on steroids. And it's fantastic. So you get even more Spider-People. Do not... During this movie, guys, you cannot... You cannot go to this... Um, you cannot go to this movie, and if you drink the giant soda, right, you got your soda, do not go to the bathroom during this movie, because you will easily miss shit. There are, this is a two hour and something movie of Easter egg galore meets crazy spider people of awesomeness, and so let's talk about performances here, okay? First of all, Gwen and Miles, still amazing, uh... Miles continues to be a great Spider-Man, and in his own right, this is incredible. Um, he, he crushes it. He has a lot of heart, a lot of great action. Everything just worked, and and it's going to be awesome. It, it is absolutely going to be amazing. And so, so this movie is oh, it's it's so good, guys. It it's got heart, um, incredible humor. Great family scenes between Miles and, his, Miles and his family. The dynamic, the struggle between... Spider-Man's always been about... Can Spider-Man save everybody and can Spider-Man do everything? This movie answers that question in a way that I don't think any other Spider-Man could. And I think they just absolutely sell this. So, newest addition. At the end of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, we were introduced to Miguel O'Hara, voiced by the iconic and loved... Moon Knight actor and Star Wars sensation, Oscar Isaac. And Oscar Isaac in this movie does not disappoint, guys. Miguel O'Hara is a badass Spider-Man from the future that has vampire and badass ninja moves. And he is awesome in this movie. He's a serious Spider-Man. Like, as sometimes you watch this movie, like, is this guy the antagonist? Or is he really trying to do the right thing? Because he means well. But he's very interesting. Of course, Jake Johnson back as Peter Ben Parker with his daughter, Mayday, was so cool. And I really loved to see them back. I thought they did a great job. This movie is chock full of surprises. Do not get spoiled. See this movie as soon as you guys can. you got to catch it just as soon as you get your chance, guys. This movie is absolutely amazing. Like I said, Miguel O'Hara crushed it. Jessica Drew's great. Adds a great new layer to it. You can't talk about this movie... Without talking about our big bad. So let's talk about the spot, guys. Now, the trailer has everything, everyone fooled with the spot just being this mediocre villain of the week. And that's part of the joke, and it's a ton of fun. But I'll tell you this right now. The spot is the next Thanos. He's the animated Thanos. This is the big bad of the Spider-Verse universe. And I won't spoil it, but in this movie, let's just say that you're going to get to look forward to the spot for a much longer time, and if you guys love this character, you know him from the comics, I'll do a whole video explaining the spot later this week, but the spot is an incredible villain in this movie, he is intimidating, he has a plan, he's dangerous, and this is the perfect multiverse movie, guys, if you guys love multiverse movies, this is perfect, like I said, No Way Home on Steroids, I know this is going to offend some people, 
this is what Multiverse of Madness should have been. It delivers as a multiverse movie. It delivers as a Spider-Man movie. This is easily my favorite movie of the year so far. And I'll be doing my Spider-Man ranking this weekend. And when I do it, you'll find out more. But this has to be my, hands down, my favorite Spider-Man movie, guys. It is so good. You have Miles Morales, all these characters. And the, this movie is, the, is one of the best comic book movies because it looks like a comic book. You know, this movie's delayed for so long, but they made the effects work. The music is good. The characters are great. The cameos, the surprises, it all delivers. Like I said, No Way Home on steroids. The references, the connections. Go see Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and have a great day. I, oh, by the way, before I leave, I'm giving this movie 10 out of 10, bitches! Now, if you guys like my review, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And let's try and hit 700 subscribers. Quip, quip, have a great day.